Hello, good morning. I'm Anne and I will be your nurse for today. So I checked in hand over that um, the doctor has ordered uh, a pain medication for you through PCA. Uh, but before that, I need to check if I'm with the right patient. Can you please tell me your name? Adib Miriam. Adib Miriam. Yep. MRN number is 1749. Six, three, and your date of birth, please. It's the 7th of the 1st, 1969. 7th of the 1st, that year. And then the address is here. Any allergies and any medication? No. Okay, thank you. Before I will um, give the medication, I need to um, assess your pains first. Can you please tell me what's the cause of, what the cause of your pain? Broken rib. And um, do you know where it is located? Uh, right, right side of my rib. Okay, so on the right side. So for how long have you had this thing for? Two weeks ago. Alright, so um, in the rate of um, zero to ten, zero is that you've got no pain, and then um, ten is the highest, and please rate your pain from eight. Okay, so before I'll give you your um, medication, I need to check if um, your vital signs are okay, and I need to check your site as well, so it's intact and it's not leaking. So I'll just I'll be back. I'll just prepare my medication. I will leave the buzzer for you in case you need something. Second order, can you please validate the order with me? So um, I've got a patient here. It's Adid Miria. The date of birth seventh of the first nine is sixty nine. Sixty nine. The details are correct. Number number is one seven four nine six three. Need a known allergy to claim with the patient. The odds are fine. Um, the doctor has ordered morphine, 50 milligrams for 15 meals. Um, doctor has signed it, written his, his name on it, dated it, and then um, it is for um, PCA infusion, so morphine PCA. Um, concentration is 1 milligram per meal. Uh, number of syringe that we need to use is 3. PCA dose is 1 milligram. Lockout interval is 5 minutes, and basal infusion is um, 0 milligrams per hour and then those limit is 12 milligrams the image of the doctor has signed it and um, if the patient needs um, anti-emetic if the patient um, is nauseous you can give metoflopramide uh, 10 milligrams IV three times three times daily um, the date it was dated and signed as well and then if the um, there's a drug overdose we can give naloxone and then the dose is here as well it's 0.2 milligrams IV Interval is two to three minutes and it was dated and signed as well and hasn't been given today. So we can start it. Okay, is it bad? Yes, thank you. So now I need to check um, the indication of the drug. Morphine is indicated for um, opioid, opioid analgesic, severe intractable pain in, in terminal cancer patients. So it's contraindicated with opioid um, respiratory depression with cyanosis. And then precaution, using precaution with high doses for long use and rapid administration of the drug. And then the adverse reaction is GI upset, confusion, and dizziness. Um, interaction is um, other contra, other CNS uh, depressants, including anesthetics. And then the drug that we'll be using, the dose that we'll be using is um, for PCA is uh, 6 to 10 minutes lockout interval. For adults, it's 0.5 to 1 milli 1.5 milligram per dose, 1 milligram per hour background infusion. Okay, all right. I will gather my equipment. So now I've got here a kidney basin, um, the PCA line, and the 50 ml syringe, the 50 ml of uh, sodium chloride, so five vials, and then my label, my needle, um, the alcohol swab, and a tape, and my gloves. Now I need to get the morphine um, drug from the um, S8 cupboard. Now I will open the S8 cupboard. Um, I've taken um, the ampules of morphine sulfate inside the cupboard, and then I need to calculate first before I will take some of the ampules. The doctor has ordered morphine sulfate, 50 milligrams, for 50 ml of um, sodium chloride. Uh, so 50 mg over um, the stock is 10 mg of morphine and then you need to multiply it with 1 ml as indicated so it is equal to 5 ml. So one vial of morphine is equal to 10 mg which is uh, multiplied by because I need 5 vials of this 
So multiply by five vials is equal to 50 milligrams. And then um, one vial of sodium chloride is equal to um, 10 mils. So multiply by five vials, so which is 50 mils of um, sodium chloride. And then um, all in all, in total, I need to get 50 mils, so 45 mils of sodium chloride plus 5 mils of morphine is equal to 50 mils in total. Doctor has ordered morphine sulfate, 50 milligrams per 50 mils of um, sodium chloride. So morphine sulfate, 10 milligrams, 1 mils. Expiry date is 10 of the 20th. So I've got 10 of the 20th, 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 10 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, morphine sulfate injection. So I have received, um, from the pharmacy, I have received 10. So now I need to write the date, the time, and then the name of the patient, here I'm added. And then the amount that I need to give is 50 milligrams. And then the balance will be 5. And then 5 ampules, yeah. And then um, the name of the prescriber is... Um, And then the person, so my name, and then my signature, and then second RN, can you just please um, paint your name and signature as well? Not in here? Yeah. So 10, so I need to take 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is that right? Yes. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so now I've got 5 ampules and I need to put back 5 in the third. And then must be Okay. So um, second RN, I will do my first drug check and please um, check it with me. Yeah. So I've got the order here for patient Adib Miriam. Um, no known allergies is claimed by the patient, the details are correct. So, so the doctor has ordered morphine, 50 milligrams for 50 mils. Um, it is given through um, intravenously. And then the doctor signed and printed his name on it. It was dated. So PCA IV morphine concentration is 1 mg per mil, number of syringes is 3, PCA dose of 1 mg, blackout interval of 5 minutes, fatal infusion of 0, and then um, hourly dose limit of 12 mg, the doctor assigned it, it hasn't been given today. And the order is morphine sulfate injection, so I've got 10 mg per mil, expiry date is the 10th, 2020, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vials of this one to make it five, uh, 15 milligrams. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the expiry date of morphine sulfate, the 10 sulfate, 10 milligrams, the expiry date is on the 10th of the 20th, 10th of the 20th, 10th of the 20th, 10th of the 20th, and 10th of the 20th. I've got the sodium chloride, um, 50 mils as well, so I've got five vials. So sodium chloride, 90 milligrams in 10 mils, so I've got 10 mils. And then the expiry date is on November 2017. And I've got one, two, three, four, five vials of this one to make it 50 mils. And for the sodium chloride, um, 90 milligrams in 10 mils. So the expiry date is on November 2017. So November 2017, November 17, November 2017, and November 2017. So now we'll drop my drugs.
So now we'll draw more charts. So I need to draw up the subject of red thread. So this is um, 50 ml of sodium chloride. So now I need to discard uh, 5 ml to make up only 45 ml of this one and then I will add 5 ml of my morphine. morphine. Um, so now I've discarded 5 ml, so it's 45 uh, ml of sodium chloride. Okay. Yeah. So now I will um, open my morphine and I will draw um, 5 ml of morphine sulfate to make it up to um, 50 milligrams of morphine sulfate and 50 ml of um, sodium chloride. So now I've finished drawing up my um, morphine sulfate. So I've um, come up to 50 ml of mor uh, morphine sulfate plus sodium chloride. So it's 50 ml. Okay. Yeah. So now we'll attach it to my line and find it. So now that I've primed it already, I need to do my um, second drug check. So now I will do my second drug check. Um, so Kanarin, can you please um, check with me as well? So I've got the patient here, Mariam Adib, uh, date of her is 7th of 1st, and my number is 174963, so the details are correct. New known allergies is claimed by the patient. The obs are fine. Um, I need to give um, morphine sulfate. So the doctor has ordered morphine, 50 milligrams for 15 ml. Um, it is given through um, intravenously. So I've prepared it already. So morphine. I've got um, morphine, 50 milligrams per 15 ml. So it's in the syringe already. It's 50 ml. 
So PCA have been morphine. Concent um, concentration is one milligram per meal. Number of syringes to be used is three. PCA dose is one milligram. Um, lockout interval is five minutes. Basal nutrition is zero um, milligrams per hour. And then RD dose is 12 milligrams. The doctor assigned it, print, printed his name on it, and it, it was dated as today. And then we need to give metoclopramide um, for um, if the patient feels nauseous, and then also if the patient, um, if the dose, if the drug is overdosed, and it hasn't been given today. And then I've got morphine here, so I've prepared morphine sulfate injection, 10 milligrams, one meal's um, expiry date is on the 10th, 2020. So I've got um, one, two, three, four, five. So five morphine to make it up to um, 15 milligrams. As I have checked, uh, morphine sulfate, 10 milligrams, expiry date is 10 of the 20th. 10 of the 20th, 10 of the 20th, 10 of the 20th, 10 of the 20th. And then I've got sodium chloride as well, um, 9%. So 10 meals of uh, sodium chloride, expiry date is on the November 2017. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to make it up to 50 meals. Sodium chloride, um, 10, 10 meals. Expiry date is on November 17, so November 17, November 17, November 17, November 17, November 17. Meals, and then I've discarded five meals of this to make it up to, um, and then add five meals of morphine sulfate to make it up to 50 meals of um, all in all. Yes. So I've got in here, and then I'll do my label. Patient name is Miriam Agib. Date of birth is 7th, 1st, 69, and ID number is 174963. So the drug is morphine sulfate. And the amount is 50 milligrams divided by 50 meals is equal to one milligram per meal. And then our delivery is sodium chloride. And then now and then time is prepared by me and then I need you to sign it as well for an hour and a and then I'll put the label on it So um, the drug hasn't been given yet, so I need to go to my patient and do the second um, patient check, and then I'll give the drug. Hello, I'm back. Um, I prepared your medication already, but before that, I need to check if I'm with the right patient. Can you please tell me your name? So Miriam Adib. Yep. And then MRI number is 174963. And your date of birth, please. 7th of the 1st, 1969. 7th of the 1st, 1969. And then is there any allergies and any medication? No. Okay, thank you. So um, I've, I've had here the order is morphine. So um, I need to check your site first. So the site is intact. It's not leaking. It's not painful as well? No. Okay. So... Um, before I give you the medication, I need to check your vital signs as well. Okay? Okay. All right. So now I'll do my um, third drug check. Second RN, can you please um, um, do it with me? So I've got the drug here. Um, I got the order here for Adib Miriam. Date of birth is 7th of 1st, 1969. MRN number is 174963, so the details are correct. New known allergies as claimed by the patient. The OBS are taken. It's good. And then I need to give a morphine 50 milligrams per 50 mils. So the doctor has ordered morphine 50 milligrams per 50 mils. 
um, it is given through um, intravenously. The doctor assigned and put his name on it, they did us today as well. And then, so I've got the morphine sulfate here, um, 10 milligrams per meal. So the expiry date is in the 10th, 2020. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So five to make it up to 50 milligrams of morphine. So as I have checked, uh, morphine sulfate, 10 milligrams, expiry date is 10 of the 20th, 10 of the 20th, 10 of the 20th, 10 of the 20th, 10 of the 20th. So PCA IV morphine concentration. Concentration is 1 milligram per meal. Number of syringes to be used is 3. PCA dose is 1 milligram. Knockout interval is 5 minutes. Lethal infusion is um, 0 milligrams per hour. And then the RD dose is 12 milligrams. The doctor has signed it. And then I need to give... Um, I need to incorporate it with sodium chloride, 0.9%, it's 10 meals, and then the expiry date is on the on November 2017, so I've got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to make it up to 50 meals and discarded um, 5 meals of sodium chloride. Then for my sodium chloride, 10 meals, um, expiry date is on November 17, November 17, November 17, November 17, and November 17. Um, 50 milligrams per 50 meals, all in all. So um, it hasn't been given, and then even in case the patient is nauseous, I can give methoclopramide as ordered as well, and then if it's um, overdose, the drug is overdose, I can give naloxone as well. So everything in there I just need to set up my PCA line. So now we'll set up my PCA machine. So I've got the medication here already. Then I put the label on it. So now and uh, for the normal saline, so uh, we have five minutes of the uh, normal saline. Oh, sorry, for five minutes of uh, morphine. So the total, uh, as far as the order, we need a 50 minutes of uh, normal saline. So, the machine is on already, so clear previous patient info, yes, and then confirm patient, new patient, yes, and then modify the protocol. So I've got the medication that was ordered is morphine, so it's morphine, and then drug concentration is 1 milligram per meal, it's 1 milligram per meal, if it goes is 1 milligram. Yeah, blackout interval is five minutes, so it's five minutes. And then a cushion level. So um, the maximum limit is 12, so I need to alter this one. So it's 12 milligrams and then confirm. And then limit duration is an hour. And then we say it deliveries. Okay, so everything's fine now for the setup. And now I just need to lock it. And then it's ready to go. Yep. Confirm syringe. Okay, so now I'm ready to start the BCA machine. And I need to um, give the instructions first. So right here the buzzer for you, so the PCA machine. So um, if um, you feel any pain, just press this buzzer. We'll turn it to the, uh, when the bottom lid uh, so you can equal to press it. And then when you press it, you will hear a beeping sound. So um, the light flashes, which means that the medication is going into your system. And then um, you won't be able to press it again until it goes back to um, bright green. And then this pump will allow you to administer your pain medication and it is based on the doctor's order as well. So um, you can press uh, as much as you want, but um, it has a lockdown interval of five minutes to regulate your dose. And then um, no one's going to press this button except um, you. So if you've got any disorders, take can press this button. It's only you that can press this button. And so you said that your pain is 8, right? So um, I will give this to you, but before that, I need to um, attach this to your line. So I need to wash my hands. And then I need to put on my gloves. I have
The side, so the side is intact, it's not leaking, it's not painful to touch, it's not in flame, so it's good. And then I just need to touch this line. So now that I've touched it, so um, I've explained everything to you. So you said it's A, right? So now you can use it. So try to press it once. There. So the drug has been given. So um, it says total demand, demands is one, and then one is um, into your system already it was um, started. So after this, um, if you feel any dizziness or any um, upset in the stomach, just press the butter, we'll leave the butter as well for you, and then I will attend to your needs. If um, you feel nauseous, I can give you your uh, medication. There's a standard order for like a proper mind, and then um, for overdose, I can give you your naloxone. So is there anything that I, you want me to do before I leave? No. All right, thank you. So, um, just press the marker if you need anything. Thank you. I'll be back after 15 minutes to check on you again. I will take the key out. I will dispose all my equipment. And then for the mind, this line as well. And how is the next one? And now I've finished with my mostly and then she 